okay so welcome to this part two where we will be completing our character modeling so first of all let's add a subdivision modifier to a few objects to get a bit clean result so as you can see with the subdivisions uh, its basic shape is changing so what we will do is come up here to the wireframe select this loop press n to get this menu and increase the mean crease so if we see in solid view it's making it solid again so it don't affect the subdivision weirdly and this is important for that and also we can add this one here so we again have a bit clean results so sam will go for here add the subdivisions go to the edit mode select the whole loop make the increase main increase to one also for this one one and for this one one also we can make this one control b and add and have three loops and let's again add this one to this one so um, actually at every joints we need three loops for rigging so we avoid the rigging issues so okay okay from the side view we would need to select this one and grab it a bit to the forward um, this will make it a bit of a shoes effect somehow yeah this will looks more like a feet now okay and now let's add the same to the hands and go to the edit mode select this one and this one and also um, this one okay if we don't see the things a bit clear turn off the modifiers so you will see the loops clean and now add mean crease and let's turn on this again yep something like this um, also up here we can add turn off the subdivision and select these tools J to join J and connect these vertex so we have some better topology to play here now what we can do is we can select these tools keep it up here and we can also select these like this and it's like this now if we turn on the subdivision we can get a better idea of what we done so select this vertex grab it back and yeah this seems fine I just add a loop and crease it like this and this will give us a more idea of like it's having some fingers also we can see this from the top view and just hold select and move it forward with the proportional editing and yep it's more curvy now yep and now let's work on the head so for the costume we would need to duplicate this pair so control D we have a duplicate uh, shift D and we have a duplicate now go to the edit mode and scale it up okay and now what we have to do is to double G to slide this vertex down this one a bit down and now we can actually delete these two vertex or maybe these three faces yep and also delete the half of it so we don't have the panic for doing the both sides and yep this seems fine Control r and add a loop in the center and alt r alt s to just scale it a bit outside 
and from the side view we can just select double G and have an idea somehow like this double G double G I'm just sliding these vertex to get a better view As we know uh, here it will be the nose area so it must be somehow like here and we can now select this one e to extrude s to scale and make this back keep this here now let's add a subdivision modifier with the level of 2 and Ctrl R to add a loop in the middle and Alt S to just scale it a bit outside and now select this whole loop and make this one 1 and now select these and make this one 1 so now we have a sharp edge here and that's what we needed Okay, just select these and make it a bit up so we have this slide area okay um, select the back loop and make this one to the one to also make it sharp and yep I think this looks somehow fine um, we would need to make the shape a bit more like the ninja one so side it should be somehow like this Okay, I think the whole thing need to be somehow down like here and after that let's move it up here so it's more now to the eye side view or maybe we can just do it a bit more um, let's move the uh, dissolve this edge and select all again keep this down and now let's fix this by adding a loop again select the whole loop alt s to just scale it outside select this one grab it here and grab it here Okay, as you see this this looks weird and that's because there is an extra vertex in the center so let's delete that and we will have a fix of this thing so um, now let's select somehow all of these and scale this a bit up 
now right click and make this one vertex smooth and we can change the intensity according but I think 0.5 seems fine and yep this works now we can just select these and change the overall shape according Now let's add a belt here. So for that control R and add a loop here. Now control B to bevel that. And now shift D to duplicate and P to separate the selection. So now our belt is a new object. Now we can just Alt S to just scale it outside. And select the whole edge. E to extrude it inside select edge E to extrude it inside and select this one and this one and make it increase Let's now make the eyes. So select this pair, go to the edit mode, select the faces where the eye will be, and now E to extrude and S to scale, and now delete these vertex. Make sure to delete the half and add a mirror modifier and turn on the clipping. So now we have holes for the eyes let's now select the whole thing and right click and make it circle if you don't see the loop tool option you can just come up here to the edit preference and search for an add-on called loop loop tool so make sure to turn on that and after that right click and make this one to a curve we can change the influence according but most of the time it's workable now E to extrude again and let's scale a bit here and yep this seems to be our eyes and we can also add a subdivision modifier to this one so we have some Good eyes like this now select the whole thing and make sure to we have the main crease and now we can extrude it now scale this and make this one to zero and F to fill that and this will represent the eyes if you want to make this one clear you can just add a loop here and this will make such a nice and easy way to create the eyes we can just change uh, connect these with the J and make sure to then center the center one alt s to make it outside and this will be smoother like this